Tell me, tell me about the last time you saw your brother. Um, internment was introduced on the 9th of August, 1971, and on the 10th, um, of August, it was decided to evacuate the area because by that stage, Mrs. Connolly was dead and Mr. Taggart. There was up to that stage, there was eight people dead. There was yeah. also a young boy um, at nine years of age was shot and wounded. So um, the people decided women and children had to be evacuated. So we were actually refugees in our own country. We had to, we ended up in Kildare Army Camp. Um, our John was bringing me and my other two sisters over to the pickup point and I began to cry because I didn't want to leave my mummy, but my mummy wouldn't leave her son, so she wouldn't come with us. So John told me, he lifted me up, and he gave me a, a hug, and he says, look, listen, everything will be back to normal. You're going on a holiday, and when you come back, everything will be right again. He stood waiting on us, and we got into the minibus, and he stood, I waved to him the whole way until I couldn't see him no more, and that was the last time I saw my brother. Can I ask you to tell us what happened? Um, on the early hours of the 11th of August, the bin lids rattled and him and my other brother, who was 18, went out to see what was happening. That was all we knew. Uh, Terry was arrested and John was dead. That was all my mummy knew on the 13th. That was she, her two sons were missing for two days. She, she tried everywhere her and my daddy to find them and they couldn't find them. And then it was a neighbour of ours. Um, just took it upon himself. He was a young man and there was a lot of people missing. And he went to the morgue and he identified my brother. What had happened to him? He was shot in the back by the British Parachute Regiment. And it has taken 50 years for the truth to come out. 50 years for my brother and my neighbours to be vindicated. And that 50 years has destroyed our lives.